Welcome to another edition of the Outlaw Show with a guest that's very special and dear to my heart. We go back many, many moons, man. We uh we started in this thing together and, and many trials and tribulations, ups and downs. You name it. We done seen it together, man, and 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 uh we still here to talk about it. So we're gonna talk about it tonight on the Outlaw Show. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother, y'all know him well. Outlaw for life. <laughs> Mutai Napoleon Bill is in the building right. on the Outlaw good, Show, bro. man. On his vacation. <laughs> Mook come to vacation for months at a time, you know what I mean? Because, talk. as most of y'all know, he lives in Saudi Arabia. And, uh, with been out there. Riyadh. Riyadh. Mm -hmm. He's been out years. there how many years? Twelve years. Twelve years now. And so he come back to L.A., man, to visit us. Us heathens, <laughs> make sure we 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 ain't <laughs> we ain't lost our mind, man. But um, and he and he travels with his family, man, and that's one yeah. of the things I love to see, man. It's always been one of my goals to be able to travel with my children as well and take them around and let them, you know, see the world through my eyes, so to speak, man. What is that? Talk about. Let's get into it with that. Talk about what yeah. that experience is like traveling with your family and your son specifically, and that's and right. letting them see, you know. Where you essentially we we became men in, in Los Angeles. Talk, man. We 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 grew up. We became men on the West Coast. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here with you, bro. You know, what I mean? we survived. Mind, we survived That's a lot. It. We did. You know, so to come back with my kids, you know, um, just so they can see where it all started. You know, um, make them grateful. You know what I mean? Because they come back and they they got a good in Saudi, even though life is different. Yeah. You know what I mean? And when I mean good, I don't mean from a financial standpoint of. Uh, of you, but just from peace, they have peace, you know. So when they come back here and they see some of the things, I, I I bring them to certain places so they can be thankful. You know what I mean? So they happy to be back. That's that's what's up. I was just having a conversation <laughs> with, with with uh one of my uh, one of my guys, our brother. We both know him well, Ed Bone. Ed Bone. And um, he was talking about his son. It's his birthday today. Yeah. He's turning seventeen. He got him a car. You know what I mean. But it's not a it's not a brand new car. You know what I mean. Yeah. And his son grow up around other kids that you know when they get yeah. cars, their cars is brand new. And yeah. so he was like, his son was kind of like you know looking at the car like you know what I mean. And and I was like, one of the greatest gifts that I try to give my children is the gift of gratitude. Of course, you know what yeah, I mean yeah. because. I think kids, no matter where they grow up at, they always want something. You know what I mean? It felt like they ain't got what their friends yeah. might have. So that's very dope that you you do that with your children and you travel with them to you know, deliver that message. Yeah, yeah. So my kids, my oldest son, Salik, you know, Salik, he's still yeah. in LA, 23 years old. Um, then Muhammad, he's, um, man, I'll be forgetting, bro. I'll be slipping. Because I don't celebrate birthdays, so my kids always get on me. Muhammad's 17, and then Khalid is... Um, 14, 13. Then I have Aisha, one girl. She's um, 12. Then I have Sam Man, he's 10. Okay. I think I got it right. You know what I mean? So, Sound about right. Especially with boys. And not, uh, girls, too. They need that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, because with, with girls, we overprotective regardless. But with boys, you know what I mean? Especially American kids. I notice American kids living in the Middle East, you know, because they love Americans in Saudi, especially our culture. So it make them want to feel, I, I got to be on them. Mm -hmm. Because they might want to take that American thing and show that, okay, we're American, so right. we have something you don't have, and we're going we gonna to extra American it out. So I always got to put them back in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? God, you got to put them back in place. We got homies from from Compton, from Jersey. It's 80,000 Americans in Saudi Arabia. Wow. And, and, and American kids is still the hot, like, oh, you from America? Right, right, so right. So you know this? So I always got to tell my kids, man, you from Santa Clarita, bro. <laughs> You ain't from no hood. Don't start fronting. You know what I mean? You was born. Like my son Khaled, he was playing a game a couple years ago. He always get mad when I blow this up. But I'm happy that my kids is going through this. He was playing a game, one of these video games, and arguing with somebody. And he was like, man, I'm from Santa Clarita, California. You don't know what I do to you. <laughs> so I told him, I said, bro, you know Santa Clarita is one of the nicest places on earth. It's you know? beautiful. <laughs> but I'm happy that they, you know what I mean, that they far away from that. But right. I always let them know. Don't let it get to the head. You know yeah, what I mean? You don't yeah. always have to be macho or tough. Right. Be, be a kid. You know and you mean? teach while you're doing it. You know what I mean? You're so, teaching them and so they won't grow up with the misconception. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're going to leave and travel without you. You know what I mean? Talk, and so yeah. they'll, know how to, they'll know how to move around without so, you, man. 